what is a hashtag? What does a hashtag do? What does a hashtag mean? That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey everyone, Heather here, founder of ShareSpark Media, the online movement promoting digital literacy for all. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and also make sure to sign up for our email newsletter to get more videos, tutorials, and how-tos on how you can use digital media to achieve your goals. What is this? You might know this symbol as a pound sign, a number sign, or a hash sign. And in the social media world, if you combine this symbol with a specific word or phrase, you create a hashtag. A hashtag allows users to categorize their social media content or posts around a specific theme. So whether that post is a photo, video, blog, tweet, or status message, using a hashtag will connect that piece of content with a specific word or phrase. Hashtags enable the power of searching through all the social media content that's uploaded every single day. Think of a hashtag as a file folder. If you use a hashtag with your post, you put that post into the file folder. Hashtags allow you to participate in conversations happening in real time. So for example, for me, I live in Southern California. So as soon as an earthquake hits, I log on to Twitter and I search the hashtag earthquake. And what I'll find is other users who have also felt the earthquake. I'll get details about the earthquake, like how strong it was, where the epicenter was. It's kind of like turning on the TV when there's breaking news, but the powerful aspect of social media is being able to communicate with anyone, anywhere, at any time. So if there's a popular TV show on, or an award show, or even a sports game, people can tune in and contribute to the conversation all in real time. Hashtags allow you to categorically search for things, especially on Instagram. So again, for example, I'm going to Iceland in the fall. So if I want to see pictures of Iceland, I can search that hashtag and I'll see what people have been posting. It's also great for getting ideas. So I can search hashtag outfits or hashtag DIY for do-it-yourself projects or even hashtag lunch to see what people are eating for lunch. Hashtags also allow you to contribute to themes or causes. Hashtag throwback Thursday or TBT is a popular hashtag uh, where people will post pictures of when they were really young. It's also really popular to use hashtags around a certain cause. So for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, you'll see a lot of hashtag breast cancer awareness Brands will often use hashtags to connect with their audiences or businesses can use it to connect with their customers. So if you're a restaurant, for example, you can search your restaurant name as a hashtag and you'll see all the pictures that people have taken of your food and being at your restaurant and stuff like that. Anyone can use the hashtag and you can pretty much use it on every platform. All you have to do is put the hash sign in front of a specific word or phrase and put it directly into your post. Also, a space breaks the hashtag. That's why when you see hashtags with several words in it, there's no spaces. So for example, class of 2016, there's no spaces. That right here is a hashtag, but down here, if you put the spaces where they would normally be, this is the only hashtag that's being read and these are just words. Another thing to note is that you can use multiple hashtags for a social media post. Also, anyone can make a hashtag. It's great for events. So for example, if you have a wedding coming up, you can put your initials and maybe the date or a theme or whatever, and encourage your guests to use that hashtag so that you can see all the different pictures that have been taken at your event. So now that you know what a hashtag is, homework time. Uh, I wanna show you guys something that uh, you can make a hashtag about. Let's see. Um, all right, this thing. This is a painting that my roommate made. In the comments below, post some hashtags that you would associate with this painting and we'll see what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, again, subscribe to our channel and sign up for our email newsletter. The link is in the description below. Share Spark. Share your story, spark your potential.